Hello and welcome to the 23rd tutorial in the Bootstrap Free Series. In this part we're going to be looking at split button drop downs. We'll be using the source code from the 6th tutorial. If you don't have it, don't worry, there'll be a link in the description. We have looked at the grid system that Bootstrap provides plus the rows and columns that you can utilize. But Bootstrap doesn't finish there. No, it doesn't indeed. It provides several UI components to help create that awesome website. We will now take a look at the split button dropdown component. A button dropdown is a combination of a regular uh, of a regular button and a dropdown. Just bear in mind you need to include the dropdown.js, but only if you are including the individual files. If you're including the bootstrap JavaScript file, then that has all the plugins which we had that's what we included but just bear in mind that you need to include drop down if you're including individual files and um, the split button drop down allows you to create a button and a drop down in one best way is to basically see it so let's open up the index.html in a text editor bootstrap like everything else makes it super easy to implement so let's code away now so if we just scroll down Oh, what the hell that A is doing there? So let's just get rid of it. Zoom out a little more. Yeah, that should be enough. So first of all, we're going to create a div class. And this is going to have a class of button group. Bear in mind, even though we're doing it outside the row and outside any of the columns, you can put it inside. And as an extra task, we actually recommend putting them inside and see how they react. But you don't need to put them inside. This is your choice button group. And inside here, we're going to have a button. And now let's close this tag off. And this is going to be of type button. It's going to have a class of button. And I'm going to put a class of button dash danger. This is just basically what it's going to look like. It's going to look red, basically. That's all it is. And I'm just going to cause, call it, oh, the text will be click me. Now we need another button. So button. This is going to be of type. You guessed it. Button. And this class is going to be button. Button danger. And we're going to have a drop down toggle. Unlike a regular drop down, there is a reason why we're using two buttons because we're going to essentially have, because it's a split drop down, so we got a regular button and then on the side of it, we got the little carrot part, the arrow that allows you to drop down the menu. So drop down dash toggle. We're going to put data dash toggle. Let me just scroll over because you can't see it. Equals drop down. And uh, now we're all ready to go. That is all done. Actually, my bad, because we actually need to put stuff within the drop down, I mean, within the button. So let's just put this down to another line. And in here, what we're going to do is span. And this is going to have a class of carrot. This is basically that little arrow that indicates to the user that it's a drop down menu. It's a really cool thing. And again, all these classes built into Bootstrap, which is great. Span class equals sr dash only and toggle drop down. You won't actually see this text, but basically, this is just saying all this does is toggle the drop down. And now what we're going to do is create our drop down. And to do that, we're going to do ul. And the unordered list needs to take a class. And this class will be drop down menu. Its role will be menu. And now inside here, what we can do is just add a bunch of list items. These are basically the items that you'll see within the drop down menu. And we're going to do a href. Put hash, we're not going to make it lead anywhere. You can make it lead to another page or an external site, whatever you want, or have it as an anchor tag that just moves to a particular part on that page. We're just going to call this home. I'm going to copy and paste this. And in here, I'm just going to put, I don't know, about us. And for this, I'm just going to say profile. 
But before I do the last one, I'm just going to add another class or another list item. This is going to be a divider, so just a line to separate the menu items. So as you can see, you can easily add a divider. Basically, what you can do in a regular drop down within Bootstrap, you can do it within this split button drop down. So the last thing will be called contact us. Now save it, it looks all good, and now let's actually run this. So let's just double click on index.html. So as you see, we have our drop down, and when we hover over it, you may notice, or you should notice, that when you go to the click me, that highlights, and when you go to the carrot section, the drop down, that highlights, because this is a separate button, so we can make this do something, and this is a separate button. So, that's weird. Well, that just didn't... Okay, let's just reopen it just in case. Okay, so that's not working. Let's go back to the code and have a look at what is messing up, basically. Hmm. Okay, let's just go through the entire code. We have a button group. We got button type, button class, button button danger action. That looks a okay to me. Button drop down toggle. That looks okay to me. Sorry, that should be data toggle. That should work now. So if we go back, refresh, click the drop down, and it does drop down. So we have our home about us profile our divider and our contact us. So in a real life example where the split button drop down might, might be used, this might say profile. So if you were to click this button, it'll take you to your profile. And if you click this drop down, it may show you stuff linked to your profile. So basically the ability to log out, the settings on our website, sonarlearning.co.uk, which we just launched recently, there's a all notes, which is linked to your profile. So stuff that is unique to your profile. So that is a real life example. As an extra task, make the drop down button do something like go to another website. The next tutorial will cover drop down, I mean button drop down sizing. If you have any questions, feel free to message us at support at sonarsystems.co.uk or the required source code will be in the description. To see hundreds of more videos like this one for free, visit sonarlearning.co.uk and as usual, thank you for watching and I hope you have a great day.